Welcome to another little video. This one's a bit different than all my other Fortnite related content. As instead of actually playing the game, I'm going to be talking about it. Tonight's topic is something a bit different than everyone else is talking about. Tonight's topic is about the cosmetic items in Fortnite and why they do actually make a competitive difference. And while they might not directly you know, make your character more powerful or whatever, they do add another certain level of power to a player. And that is the power of confidence. Now, I'm speaking on behalf of a lot of new players. But the first couple rounds of a Battle Royale game or in, in a Fortnite are incredibly nerve-wracking. And even after a few hours played, I was still very timid of going to locations such as Pleasant Park or, heck, even Dusty Depot. I wouldn't go in a, to locations such as those because I was afraid of getting you know, killed. So, because of that, I wasn't really a confident player, and I wasn't, I wasn't getting that many kills, and I sure as heck wasn't going to win like that. And, I'm not saying that this for, that everybody feels this way, I'm just saying that I'm sure it's more than just me. Okay, I'm sure I'm not the only person out there who's ever felt this anxiety while playing and this lack of confidence. And part of that comes from when you are into the starting lobby area of a Fortnite match and you see all the other players around you and they have all the cool cosmetics, all the cool skins and pickaxes and special trails when they jump out of the bus and everything. It makes you feel kind of naked compared to everybody else. And it's not really a good feeling. Because no one wants to feel naked. No one wants to feel inferior to other players. Even if it's not skill-wise. Because I know plenty of no-skins who are pretty dang good at the game. But, nevertheless, it's how the way some people feel. They feel inferior or something because they don't have a cosmetic item. And, and that kind of leads into anxiety, which is which leads into stress, which of course leads into the players with lack of confidence. And confidence is something that you need to succeed in a battle royale game, regardless if it's Fortnite or PUBG, or heck with it, H1Z1. You're going to need confidence if you want to succeed. And without that, you're, like I said, not going to succeed. If you're not putting yourself in the line of sight of other players or putting yourself kind of sort of at risk, you're not going to get better at the game. You're just going to end up in matches where you go to the middle of nowhere, get some loot, and then just end up running around an open field for 20 minutes or so before you get sniped by somebody. Not saying you have to go tilted every game, but you gotta practice somehow. But here's where the cosmetics come in. And at least this is something I've noticed while playing after I purchased the battle pass. Is that with co my cosmetics equipped, I felt much more confident. And I didn't feel as much of the fear as I felt before I got the battle pass and before I got my cosmetics. And while no, this isn't like, oh, if you buy the battle pass you get exclusive weapons that nobody else will that will actually you know do more damage or something than somebody else who hasn't purchased it no this isn't pay to win but in a way it can it can be because if you have enough confidence to go through with crazy plans to do crazy things in, in that mind you've won and in that sense, you've overcome a sense of fear and a sense of maybe shame even to play a game. 
and you've overcome that, and you've grown stronger. When my first few matches after I got the battle pass, I felt much more confident. And one thing the battle pass does is pushes new players outside of their comfort zone by making them do things such as one of my objectives was to loot seven chests in Pleasant Park, which is an area where I previously wouldn't dare to go. But because I wanted to rank up in the Battle Pass, I decided to give Pleasant Park a try. And by offering players the opportunity to get cool cosmetic items by simply doing things in the game, it's a very very good um, motivational motivation for players to get really cool stuff by playing the game. And it's a motivation to... And it's a brilliant motivation as not only is it getting players to get what they want, but it's also helping players to get outside of their comfort zone, to go to locations they normally would never even dare trek near, which was the case with me. And I started going to Pleasant Park, I started going to Dusty Depot, um, Anarchy Acres, places like that where I was always kind of scared to go. I mean, occasionally, occasionally I jump places like Tomato Town, or may maybe rarely Dusty. But, and, yeah, occasionally I would jump Shifty Shafts. That was the most daring place I would go. But after I got the battle pass, I was determined to rank up my battle pass to unlock some of the cool new stuff I could. Such as the the outfit I have on here. Some of the emotes that you can't see because this is the new replay feature and for whatever reason it's not loading in sprays and whatever. And stuff like that. And it's something that I'm interested in something that not only me but plenty of other players are interested in players want the cool stuff and this is a and by getting players outside their comfort zone it's making players in a way better players because like I said if you're not getting yourself into areas of risk and not being in areas where you're going to be constantly shot at and you're going to have to practice building and shooting and getting cover, working on your aim and everything, you're not going to improve as a player. Just like any game, you got to practice with it. And you're not going to get any better at a game by running through an open field with barely any loot because you decided you wanted to skip out on a major location simply because you're afraid of encountering somebody. And I'm not speaking for all new players, as I know there's probably plenty of new players who are very confident in themselves. Sometimes overconfident, which is a topic for another time. But I'm sure there are pl plenty of players out there who are just like me, who were lacking in confidence, but then when they start getting cosmetics, it's, it's this weird mental mojo of kind of being accepted maybe not accepted but you know just kind of you look more like a pro player you look more like you know what you're doing and stuff like that because you see people like ninja muse elk and other popular fortnite youtubers and streamers wear these kind of skins and use these sprays and use these pickaxes and stuff and they're confident, and it, it's just the idea of just looking at your character and seeing a skin on it is confidence boosting. Like, I, I can't really explain what goes on in the brain, because I am not a neurologist. However, I can tell you that, oh, by the way, that chest was looted. The replay feature is just being we just is weird with chests. Anyway, but there is a mental psyche where if you ha if you have in your mind the, the cosmetic, right? It it like I said, it doesn't really impact you 
skill wise but there's just something psychological that does that boost confidence again I can't explain it but it just does it's kind of magical in a way and don't get me wrong I'm not saying like I said that new players can't be confident without the battle pass or that these feelings of anxiety and stress and whatever will just go away after you have the battle pass but I think at least for me um you know a lot of new players really have the mindset of really wanting to get a victory royale and to be honest I still haven't okay I'm just gonna be upfront and admit it I still haven't so every game we strive our hardest to get a victory royale and be super try hard and be constantly um, stressed out about winning and if you, if you lose it's pretty upsetting but when I got the battle pass in a way it gave you it gives you something else to focus on other than winning it's like oh there's an objective saying I have to find a certain treasure map in let's say Dusty Depot and follow it which is something different to do than just say oh go out there and get kills and get a victory royale and while yeah getting a victory is one is an objective it's not your primary objective anymore you're now being offered saying hey you can now, uh, instead of doing that, you can focus on not only winning, but you can also focus on finding chests, um, breaking a certain amount of objects, building things, and stuff like finding th finding landmarks on the map, stuff like that. So that kind of takes your mind off of the constant stress of hoping for a victory. And move it to focus on other things as well. And like I said earlier about overcoming the whole confidence barrier, once you overcome that, you've won. It doesn't matter if you never ever win an actual game of Fortnite. Because at that point, if you can drop the stress, drop the anxiety, drop all that crap, that's when you can start really having fun and enjoying playing the game. I mean, there. this is called a game for a reason. It's supposed to be entertaining. It's a form of entertainment. Well, yeah, gaming is to some a lifestyle, to many a, a lifestyle. It's more than anything a hobby. At the end of the day, it's a hobby. It's a pastime. And... It's a widespread form of entertainment that more and more people are starting to accept, accept these days, which is great. But once you can start actually having fun with the game is when you've won. And by having co cool and cosmetics, other things to focus on other than winning, and just the whole aspect of working for towards something because us as humans we have a we like to have a sense of accomplishment when we do something really cool so when you find this really weird location on the map that you never knew existed before and you get 10 levels for your battle pass and end up unlocking a really cool dance move you feel accomplished because you worked hard and grinded for what you wanted and that sense of accomplishment allows players to move forward allows players to feel good about themselves and like I said it doesn't matter if you've n never won a game of Fortnite or never will which is very unlikely if you play a lot you will eventually I'm I'm convinced you will eventually win a game of Fortnite and as you progressively 
conquered the battle within yourself. This is getting, getting all freaking weird and emotional or inspirational or whatever. But I, I'm being serious. Once you finish and complete the battle in yourself to maintain confidence, to maintain um, the lack of stress, to maintain the enjoy, overall enjoyment in the game. Once you win that fight, that's when you start winning actual games. That's when you stop choking up. And that's when you start realizing, okay, I gotta practice, and I got to get better, but I also gotta have fun. I can't try hard all the time. I'm just gonna play the game and p try my best, but at the same time, it ain't all about winning. It's about having a freaking good time, enjoying some cool cosmetics, and hopefully getting a victory royale. Anyway, guys, I, I do want to say thank you for watching the video. This has been a video that, you know, I've been wanting to talk about Fortnite for a while, but, bef you know, I, I, like I said in the, earlier on, I was struggling with this whole confidence thing myself. And, to be honest, I, I was considering making a really negative video about Fortnite. But then I started to question myself and ponder the the enigmas of the world and truth be told it was kind of an awakening and it helped me to start to grow a love for this game and it's given me determination to keep trying but also to not take it too seriously so now I feel like if I were to make a video re overall reviewing the game, I would give it a very positive rating. And not just because I purchased the Battle Pass, but because I've won a Victory Royale against myself. And anyway, like I said, I have been wanting to make a video about Fortnite for a while. Not necessarily to cash in on all the popularity, all the views and whatever. I mean, yeah, people upload a YouTube video in hopes of getting views, but the purpose of this video was not necessarily to cash in on the immense popularity of Fortnite, but it was also to help stir like-minded people who perhaps feel and think the same way as I do about the whole anxiety and whatever and and maybe purchasing the battle pass isn't what cures it but to me and several of my friends it has definitely helped our anxiety with the game so the point of this video was not to get views again if this blow absolutely blows up that would be amazing and I am so thankful that you guys stopped by. But just know I'm here to um, stir up your mental juices, get your brain thinking, and get you thinking about what's going on inside and, with, and how the battle pass may actually be pay to win. And no, this is not, and that's not a bad thing. But anyway, guys, I'm, I am obviously rambling, but I do want to say again, thank you for stopping by and taking time out of your very busy day to watch my video. It means a lot, folks. Anyway, thanks again for all your support on my, for my channel, and I will see you all in the next video. As always, Max is the Beast is out.